Hello and welcome, I'm your code monkey, and I've just published an update to my Unity Dots course. This one adds 15 new lectures, adding some bonus stuff on targeting and learning some more about the job system, and also importantly on building a custom dots animation system from scratch. This was really interesting to research and build. Animation is one of the things that is currently really tricky right now to do in dots. That's because there's no built-in toolset just yet, so you have to either use an asset or build yourself from scratch. Now in the course, since I provide the project files for every lecture in the course, because of that I couldn't use any third-party assets, so we end up building it from scratch. It's a nice, simple animation system. It's based on essentially using sprite sheet animation, except using meshes. So I just took some normal animations. I made a script to bake different parts of the animation into individual meshes. And then through code, we just changed the mesh to create the nice illusion of some nice animations. Now importantly, of course, is making all of that work with dots, which is quite tricky because dots only works with value types. So we cannot have objects, no references. And meshes are objects, so actually storing that data was quite tricky. And then also there are a ton of meshes for each animation. So once again, storing all of that data was also really tricky. That took quite a while to research, but I'm very happy with the final result. In the lectures, we're going to learn about how to use blob assets. This is a feature from Dots that allows you to have access to immutable data in a super fast manner. And it also allows you to have special blob arrays. So in the end, we end up creating kind of like a dictionary where we have an array of arrays. So the first array has the index for the animation type, and then it has an array for all the meshes that make up that single animation. Again, building all this was pretty complex. It took me quite a while to research how to build all this and how to make it all work. It has a lot of steps that need to be followed exactly. So hopefully these lectures over here, all of these will help you learn how to use blob s and blob rings and help you learn that much faster than it took me. There are also new lectures on converting some systems into jobs. So this requires us to learn more about things like important lookups and some attributes for disabling the safety features. And then lectures, these ones over here on adding more logic to the targeting, like adding finding the closest target, losing target, or a target override. These also involve learning quite a bit more about how to use dots, components, and systems. Now, if you're already on the course, then just go onto the course page and you can see all the new lectures right away. And if you don't yet own it, you can get it with the link in the description. So this is a pretty nice update. These lectures are really nice. I'm also about to finish the next update, adding buildings, which should be fun. And after that, I plan to work on the next updates, covering topics like flow field pathfinding, fog of war, minimap, hordes, and tons more stuff. By now, the course already has quite a lot of knowledge in about 15 lectures. It already covers tons and tons of dot stuff. So if you want to learn how to use dots, then the lectures that are already out, these already teach you quite a lot about this tool set. Dots is really awesome, and I definitely encourage you to learn about it. It's an extremely powerful tool, so if you learn, you'll have an excellent tool added to your tool belt. But importantly, dots is not a beginner level topic. So this is not a beginner level course. If you're a beginner, then I highly recommend you stick with just normal game objects. Don't worry about dots at all. If you're a beginner, then I recommend you follow my Kitchen Chaos course. Or if you prefer to focus on the language itself, if so, then check out my C-sharp course, which will take you from beginner to advanced. And if you fully understand everything in that course, if you fully understand everything in the beginner and the intermediate sections, if so, then you do have enough knowledge to start learning dots. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you learned a lot and I'll see you next time.